this is the place. The, the monk said we'd see him here. This Mordecai guy. I don't know where he is. I don't see nothing. Mordecai? Storm's starting to move in, too. Well, help me, Brian. Mordecai! 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 Where are you? Mordecai! Mordecai is. Dude, I know we're in cemeteries a lot, but this one's kind of freaking me out. Just calm down, Brian. This is nothing. Mordecai! Did you see that man? I think I saw something. It was like there, and then it wasn't there. What? What was that? Just don't, don't freak out, Brian. Just calm down. I'm not liking this place, dude. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Hold on. I think I heard something. I'm gonna go over and look over there. You stay here and look around. All right, man. Okay. Don't freak out, Brian. It touched me! It touched me! What happened, Brian? It touched me, man! It took my hat! What? I don't know! What it was you... like this! It was like... It was hairy and short and fast, man! It took my hat! Just chill, bro! I'll handle this! Just stay here! Don't I'll, leave me, man! I'll find it! Doesn't look so tough now, does he? What you got here? Why'd you take our hats? Who sent you? Why did you take our hats? What is he? I mean, could he be? What should we do with him? I say we take him out, right now, right here. No, Brian. He's scared. Let's talk to him. He took our hats. Why did you take our hats? Can we please have our hats back? What is he? I think he's a Yeren, distant cousin to the Yeti. Do you think he can help us? Just talk to him. Maybe he knows where Mordecai is. Mordecai? Do you, do you know Mordecai? Hold on. The nuts. He's getting happy. I think he likes him. Hey, where are your friends? Can you tell us who Mordecai is? How can we find him? I think he's saying he's Mordecai. You're Mordecai? Jumping Joe, who's the fat Brian? It's Mordecai. <laughs> it's Mordecai. <laughs> My father told us about you. We were sent by the monk. Yes, the monk. Now give us our hats back. Okay. <laughs> okay. 
The monk told us that you were a great guide. Is this true? Then you can get us through the mountains. Whatever he does, we gotta do it quick. This storm ain't waiting for nobody. Well, come on, Mordecai. Get us through there and I'll give you lots of these. Come on, let's go. Let's get on this horse and ride it. Tonight, the snow falls. Show you an email and let you know how the trip is going. We left the monastery three days ago, and Mordecai, the monkey creature, has proven to be a great guide. We survived a wicked snowstorm on our first night into the mountains, and it has made our trek up even more dangerous. Mordecai led us to a cave where he had said the Yeti has been known to sleep. Inside the cave, Brian made a grisly discovery. He found the bones of a human along with some books and hiking gear. Our worst fears came true. They were the bones of Carlester Kroon. They were picked clean, and I found claw marks on the skull. Claw marks of the Yeti. There was no sign in or around the cave of the monk's servant boy, Kenneth. We buried the skull of Mr. Kroon and continued further up into the Himalayas. Brian and I had decided that we wanted to capture the Yeti, or die trying. We studied Kroom's notes and found that the Sherpas he had met told him tales on, of men turning into Yetis when they wore the Yeti's medallion. I also read that one of my trinkets might be able to ward off the Yeti if we were to encounter him. If this is true, we may not be after an animal, but a transformed man. Mordecai caught a scent this evening and said we are very close to the Yeti. We decided to make camp for the night. If my laptop battery lasts, I will email you on our findings tomorrow. Wish us luck, Coop. We'll need it. Caspian. Sounds like a Yeti whistle to me. I gotta check this one out. Brian! Mordecai, wake up! Brian has left camp. Come on, we gotta go find Brian.
I lost him. Caspian! Brian? Brian! I'm coming, bro! 